welcome back to the channel it's Tom with another cryptocurrency video and today we're gonna be getting into a new AMM farm on Binance Smart Chain dank swap so I couldn't really resist getting into this one I'm gonna show you what it's all about this one is kind of more risky than well it's definitely more risky than pancake swap so I'm just gonna go in quite light into some of these other farms that aren't pancake swap so I'm just putting in about half a BNB so I don't recommend putting anything more than you're happy to lose into these other farms apart I think pancake swap is is, is pretty legit and uh, I think you'll be okay there but don't don't put in more than you can afford to lose and of course the videos is just for entertainment and not financial advice so don't wreck yourself on this stuff so I'm going to put in Uh, about 0 0.5 BNB which is currently at the price is about 70 US dollars and because the high API you don't really need to put in that much anyway so because you're gonna earn, earn a lot once you get past your initial investment return and you can just grow it so now I've got my bag of weed and I'm gonna provide some liquidity so let's go get my weed bag and max that up match it with an equal amount BNB So this one is fairly new so the APR is quite good I think the APR is gonna go down when more people are in these farms so we've got 0.02 percent of the pool Okay, so now I've supplied our liquidity and we're going to go to the farm and check out his APR. So as you can see here, the APR is crazy. I've, I've seen crazier, but yeah. So we're gonna approve that contract and then stake our liquidity pool tokens. So yeah. Then we'll just wait wait to uh build up our bag of weed. So ten thousand six hundred and sixty three per year so per day we've got 29 percent so it's about it's going to be about three or four days till we ROI okay this is the pool so they're gonna gonna be burning weed 4.2 percent of weed harvest during the first 100k blocks so it should increase the price uh, on the APR here we got almost 9,000 so you could argue that another strategy to do this would be just to buy the weed and then just put it straight in the staking and you're still getting a really high APR but without 
any of the risks of a liquidity pool. So just a quick update on PancakeSwap. The token's doing really, really well today. I think we're up to $9. If we take a look at the farms, we got this new farm, Swingbee. Uh, the API is really good, but took a look at the project and didn't really interest me that, that much. It's some kind of exchange where you can move bitcoins into wrapped bitcoins. So for any of you who don't know wrapped bitcoin, it's a, just a tokenized version of bitcoin on another blockchain. I'm quite happy with this. I don't want to diversify too much because then your gains will kind of reduce. But I'm trying to kind of reduce my risk and just try some new projects. I'm in four, four pools at the moment. And I feel like SWG, SWG uh, Swedge kind of took a lot of risk on that one. So, so Z, which I got into yesterday, pretty much the same as yesterday. Pretty flat. We don't mind that at all. So Berry, which we got into yesterday, got into uh, $6.80 and about $10. And I'm just holding this long term, basically. I think it's got a lot of upside potential. Cafe swap. The token price is going crazy. APR still the same. So I think yesterday we looked here is about $11 and now it's doubled. So actually you could just buy these tokens and just <laughs> just double and sell them. But yeah, so far I've got six tokens. I think what I've been in this one or two days and I've got $130 and my initial investment is, I'm just using the profits of PancakeSwap to do this. I think I put 40 cake when it was about seven dollars six dollars must have put in about 240 dollars and then i've got 120 dollars back so in like a couple of days a couple of days um i'm like almost half of my money back so then it's the question what are the two strategies i'm gonna employ like i was talking about in the last video once we got to half of my initial investment maybe just take my initial investment out and let let the half free roll or go for the double and then once I've doubled just start taking it out until I've got my initial investment back um, I'm gonna have to make a decision on that so just to give you an example of one of the farms which rugged on me okay so just a quick update on bunny I'm just putting the profits from pancake swap into bunny now and I think I put 0 0.5 yesterday and I just put another two in today so yeah if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful and if you decided to get into any of these farms just leave me a comment below and I'd love if you could like and subscribe to the video because I'm just trying to build the channel right now the bigger it gets, the more I can justify doing live streams. And so we can create a bit of a community here. Together we can do some really good stuff.